All right, well, Brian just finished up spraying the chassis with the roll bar and chassis paint. It's good and dry. We let it dry probably, probably for about an hour. And uh, he's over on the other table working on some other parts of the vehicle. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and mask off the frame with some masking paper because when we spray the Dupacolor undercoating on there, we're not gonna wanna get any undercoating on our, on our uh, freshly painted chassis here. So what the undercoating is gonna do is it's a sound detonator and it's also a protectant. And uh, it'll also give this inner well a nice fresh new look because as you can see, a lot of the original factory undercoating is worn away and a lot of the original paint is exposed now. And what you need to keep in mind when spraying this is you wanna keep it a little further away, probably 12 to 14 inches when you spray. Due to the fact that the uh, contents inside are thick, there's a large orifice on the nozzle and this comes out with a lot of velocity. So just hold it back a little bit and, and put on several light coats and uh, should be good to go. And in between coats, there isn't, isn't really any dry time. Uh, you just wanna just keep on building it up, you know, until you're, you know, the, the desired thickness. And uh, it is a sound detonator, so the more you put on, the better it's gonna, you know, take away some of the road noise. Uh, it'll give it a real good uniform look in here. Because as you saw earlier, it had a lot of blotchiness. A lot of the original undercoating was, was worn away just from 29, 30 years of driving on this car. So uh, it's looking real nice and uh, it takes, you know, a good hour to two hours, I'd say, for this to dry. It's a little slower drying uh, and, uh, you know, you don't want to touch it because you'll get kind of gooey. So let it dry. Uh, no real reason to touch it, but if you have to, you can wait about an hour or so.